the critical temperature. What is the difference between a gas and a vapour? Well, a true gas cannot be liquefied at normal atmospheric temperatures by pressures alone, whereas a vapour can. Is CO2 a gas or a vapour? Well, it's a vapour because if you pressurise CO2 to 56 bar at 20 degrees C normal atmospheric temperatures, it will liquefy. And that is what is in a fire extinguisher. It's liquid CO2. Why do they want to liquefy it? Well, because you get more in. If it was just a gas, the extinguisher would last about 2 seconds on operations, where it can last 40 seconds if it is liquefied. So why doesn't a CO2 fire extinguisher have a pressure gauge on it? Water and foam and powder all have pressure gauges on. It's because it's liquefied and it's at a pressure of 56 bar. If I operated the CO2 extinguisher for 20 seconds, the liquid level would drop, but what would the pressure be? Well, it would be still around 56 bar. If I operated it again and nearly emptied the liquid CO2, what would the pressure be? Well, it wouldn't be far off 56 bar. So a pressure gauge on a CO2 fire extinguisher doesn't tell you anything about how much is in there, and that's why they have to be weighed annually to check the contents. So as I've said, if you pressurise CO2 to 56 bar at 20 degrees C, it liquefies. And this is because CO2 is a vapour and it's stored below its critical temperature. So what is the critical temperature? It is the temperature above which a vapour cannot be liquefied by pressure alone. Is oxygen a gas or a vapour? Well, it's a true gas. Why? Because you can't liquefy oxygen at normal atmospheric temperatures, no matter how much pressure you apply. The critical temperature of oxygen is minus 119 degrees C. So if you want to liquefy oxygen, you've got to cool it first below that temperature. Is hydrogen a gas or a vapour? Well, it's a true gas. Why? Because you cannot liquefy hydrogen at normal atmospheric temperatures no matter how much pressure you apply. The critical temperature of hydrogen is minus 240 degrees C. So if you wanted to liquefy hydrogen, you'd have to cool it below that temperature. So that's the critical temperature. 